You're watching Ozstar. Good day guys and welcome back to Ozstar. In today's video we're going to show you how to change your Wi-Fi channels on the Huawei router. And this video is thanks to George, he contacted us and we're going to show you just how to do this on your Huawei router. So first of all, what we're going to need to do, we're going to have to log into the Huawei router and I'll have the codes up on the screen right now, what you need to type into your web browser. If that doesn't work, what you need to do is go onto the Huawei website and just search in Huawei login and it might get, it should give you a few links to click on. So let's get into it and let's start um, getting into the Huawei router and we'll show you just what to do. So first of all, you're going to want to type in that web address that I just had on the screen. And as you see, we're on the Huawei page. From here, you want to log in. So you're going to need your username and password to log in. And normally it's admin and admin. From there, click on settings. Then under settings, the second option down, third option down actually, you have Wi-Fi. From Wi-Fi, click on advanced Wi-Fi. And as you see, you have a few different options. Now, as you see, it's all on auto. So what we're going to do, we're going to change that one to 11. Okay, and we're going to change the 5 down to the max as well. But it's always good to have it on the auto. Always keep it on the auto. I'm just showing you what you can change it to. You can make it to your max. So you could go to uh, 113 and so on. You can go quite high up into your channels. As you see, I've just saved that. And we're going to do a speed test to show you what doesn't actually change the speed of your internet at all. So we'll just show you that right now. So what we'll do, we'll just do a quick little speed test. Now the internet may, may be a bit slower because I do have a VPN active. Yeah, as you see, we're just getting under two megabits right there. That's for our download. And we're getting 39 ping. And for our upload, it always has a higher number than it drops. Uh, so let's see what we got. Okay. So we just got a bit over a, a megabit. Yeah, just a bit over a megabit right there. Okay, so we did a speed test with having the uh, channels to the max. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna change those all back to auto. So change everything back to auto. This is what I recommend. Again, if you're running some sort of business and you need it on a certain channel, definitely make sure you do have it on that certain channel. Uh, but because I don't need it on any of that, I'm just gonna keep it on auto. And now we're going to log back into the router and just make sure that 100% did save. Now again, if you've noticed it has not saved at all, what you want to do is unplug the router and then plug it back in. So everything has 100% saved right there. So what we're going to do is just do another speed test. Now it won't change anything. If anything, it will make our ping higher. Let's... It should definitely do that, yeah. So we are on 41 now. It's not a lot higher, but it does make it a tiny bit higher. And again, we're looking at the same download. Uh, so we've got the same megabits and download right here. So the changing the channels doesn't really make a difference, but it is up to you what you want to do. If you do want it on the Max channel, you can do that as well. Also, you can change your broadcasting, uh, what you wanted that on. So I believe you can have it on 20 megabits or 40 megahertz. It's totally up to you. Um, I've got it on auto because I just like having everything on auto right there. So yeah, that's everything in today's video. So I'm hoping that gave you a bit of an idea on how to change the channels on the Huawei, Huawei router. Um, if this did help, let us know down below. And thanks again for watching Ozstar. If you've got any questions at all, or if you'd like to see any other certain Huawei videos or something like that, let us know down below in the comment section, or you can always email us, which will be linked down below as well. So thanks again for watching Ozstar, and we'll catch you guys next time. Catch you then.